Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you how to simplify your JavaScript regular expressions by using named capture groups. Now, this feature allows you to easily extract data from your regular expression matches, much like a standard capturing group does. So the example which is going to be covered in this video is going to take a time string, for example, 10.30 p.m. And we're going to be using named capture groups to extract extract each one of the three sections of that time into the code. So of course we have the hour, we have the minutes and we have the meridian or AM and PM. So like I said, going to be using name capture groups to do this and trust me, it's going to be uh, really convenient once you start doing this. So let's begin by defining that time string. We're going to say const time equal to then do 10.30 p.m. So of course we're gonna be matching against this time. When it comes to the regular expression pattern, we're gonna say const pattern equal to, then the pattern is going to utilize Firstly, just standard capture groups, okay? So I'll show you that first, then have a look at the second example, which of course is gonna be the named capture groups. So we're gonna say here, using a capture group backslash D plus, then say colon, then once again, backslash D plus. So of course here, we're simply saying, get me one or more digits for the hour, okay? That's the hour part. Then colon as a separator, then one or more digits for the minute part. So of course, we've already established the pattern for the first half of that time string, the 10 colon 30. We can now say space, then add a question mark for an optional space, then say AM or PM. So we'll say here, AM or PM just like this and this here is going to conclude the pattern. Uh, we'll also add the case insensitive search right there. So now we can of course run this pattern against the time string. We'll say const uh, match results equal to pattern dot execute and pass in that time. I'm now going to console.log the match results. I'll save this and run the script here. And we can see in the console, we get uh, a non-null value. So we have a match, right? And we can see here, this match of course, has the entire uh, string in the first index, then one, two, and three for each one of those capture groups. So of course, if I was to, uh, you know, try and extract the minutes from this result, I would say using the array square bracket syntax, I can say square bracket and pass in one, save this, run the script again. And now of course we have 10 right there. Oh, my mistake, sorry about that. I meant to say two here for the minutes section. I'll try again, of course, now we get 30 for the minutes. So essentially we have one, two, and then three for the capture groups. And this of course works, it's worked for many years, um, but there is a, a different way to go about doing this and that's gonna be using named capture groups. So you don't need to worry about remembering um, where uh, your, your groups are in terms of the sequential order, right? With named capture groups, we can simply name the groups and then access them later on. So let's do that right now for this regular expression pattern. It's gonna be very straightforward. Let's go in front of all the groups and put a question mark like that. Then we're gonna use uh, our less than sign and then a greater than sign, okay? Much like a HTML tag. Then inside here, place your name. You can call this whatever you like. So I'm gonna say here, hour, just like that. So question mark, then of course, HTML tag syntax, the less than, greater than sign, pass in your name, that's your named capture group, okay? Let's do the exact same thing for both minutes and of course, meridian. By the way, um, if you weren't sure what to name your variables for your AM and PM, you can say meridian just like this, okay? Fantastic. So now, let's just log out the match results, okay? And we're gonna see here, we have the groups property now not undefined. So in the previous uh, execution, it was undefined, but in this execution, groups has a value. And this value is a simple object containing 
each one of the capture groups and its value. Okay, so this right here is fantastic, guys. You can now do things such as match results, dot groups, dot, and then reference your capture group. I can say, for example, minutes, just like this, save this, run the script again, and of course, we now get 30 in the console. So this here is much more convenient. You may also see examples online where you can combine this with object destructuring to create an even cleaner bit of code. For example, instead of match results, I can say something such as uh, hour, minutes, and meridian, just like this. Then say pattern.execute. I'm gonna say dot groups here. And now, of course, we have those variables in scope. I can save this logout meridian and we can see we get PM right there. So this here is a, a good solution for, of course, you know, extracting that data from your regular expression pattern. Now, before finishing up this video, I want to quickly mention that you want to be careful with this solution because uh, your groups can be undefined in situations where you don't use named capture groups. So it might be wise to uh, use the question mark dot syntax here to essentially uh, protect yourself from that. Uh, but you've also got the problem of the object destructuring here because if this is undefined, then you're going to get an error. So let's say, for example, uh, you know your groups is undefined. I'll, I'm going to just mimic this real quick. So if I do undefined like this, right, save this, run the code, we get this error because you can't destructure undefined. So if you do, uh, you know, use this, just watch out for situations like this here. You can, of course, uh, you know, use or then provide a backup empty object here, which should resolve that undefined issue. I'll just say undefined or empty object. And, uh, you know, we don't get the error anymore. But of course, we still have undefined for these constants. But regardless, I wanted to quickly mention, um, you know, that it can happen if, you, if you're not careful. So that there is your named capture groups in JavaScript. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.